Hi, my name is Evan from the Micro Center Tech Support Department and today we're going to talk about how to allow a program through the ESET firewall. This is something that can be useful if you have an application or a program that you installed and somehow it is not able to get online when you have the ESET Smart Security Program installed. In some cases the program can block applications errantly thinking that it is a malicious application when in fact it is a legitimate program. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to allow a program through the ESET firewall. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how to allow a specific program through the ESET firewall. To begin, let's open up the ESET program by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. The icon may or may not appear right away. If it does not, you can click on this icon here. The up arrow, it will show hidden icons, and the ESET icon should show up there. Double click on this icon to open up the ESET window. Typically, it will open up on the protection status screen. Once the window opens up, check the bottom left for this display standard mode or display advanced mode. If it says display standard mode, click on change. It will then ask you to confirm. Go ahead and click yes on that box. Once this is done, click on setup on the left side. On the setup screen, click on personal firewall in the middle. On the personal firewall screen, click on advanced personal firewall setup. Once this opens up, choose the filtering mode and then choose automatic mode with exceptions user defined rules once this is done click on OK in the bottom right you may be prompted to allow or approve the action by Windows go ahead and choose the allow or yes option to continue once this is done there's a new option in the middle that says configure rules and zones click on that option on this new window click on the new button in the bottom left the first thing to do is to enter a name. We will choose example in the name for this example here. The direction, in most cases, if you're wanting to allow a program access, you're going to want to choose both. And then for the action, go ahead and choose allow. The protocol you'll want to leave the same, and the profile you'll want to leave as well. Once that information has been set, click on the local tab, and then choose the browse option. Once you click on the browse option, you will need to choose the executable of the program that you want to allow through the network. In this case, we'll go into the program files folder, and we'll locate the Mozilla Firefox web browser and we'll go ahead and create a rule to allow that through to the internet. Here is the executable file for the Firefox program. It's under the Mozilla Firefox folder in program files. This is a basic guide for where the executables for programs will be stored, but for additional information contact the manufacturer of the application. Once that is selected, it should populate the box with the address to the file that we're looking to allow through the network. Once that's done, click on the OK button down at the bottom. At this point, a new rule will have been created and you can see that it is set to allow that application through to the network. That's how to allow a specific program through the firewall with ESET Smart Security. If you have any additional questions or need more information, please visit us at www.microcentertech.com. Thanks again for joining us.